Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So this video is part of a series where we are implementing a microservices based social media application. And our main goal is to learn the microservices pattern as well as some of its challenges and some alternatives for tackling the challenges that come with this decoupled multi-service implementation. So far we have implemented a couple of features in our sign up route and in today's video we will continue with the implementation of, the, of sending the verification email to the provided user email. So for us to understand a little bit, of, a little bit better the flow, I created this small diagram. Of course, this is, uh, if you're familiar with UML, this is a sequence-like diagram. <laughs> I wouldn't say this is entirely valid, but at least it gives an idea of what is going to happen both at the client side here and as well as all the layers that are involved in sending the email. So the idea is that we start with the user opening the website and then at some point sending a sign up request. Now the sign up request is received by our sign up route, which will then do some processing, does the validation, checks that the email and the password are according to our standards. And if everything is fine, it creates the user and it sends a request to send the email verification or the verification email to the email sender, right? So it will call a method from the email sender, which is send verification email, for example. And then the email sender will do a little bit of processing, validate that the instances are all initialized. And then if everything is okay, it will call the specific email API. We will implement a couple here. So this first, the first one we will work with is with node mailer. And I'll also implement another one, an alternative in case you're interested using the mail jet API. Then, once we call this email API, then they will do the real work for us, right? This is where here the email is going to be sent and we will get a response from this API call. Now the email sender may want to do a little bit of processing in this response and then it will return the its own response to the sign up route, which will then return its own response to the client and we will show a feedback to the user. Now this will change a little bit in the future because we will have a service that is dedicated to notification. So we would cut this diagram here, we would delete all of this and what the sign up route is going to do later on is that after the processing and after creating the user and saving the user to the database, it's going to send an event user signed up which will then be picked up by the notification service, which will then process this event, send the verification email and return or send another event, email verification sent, which will then be picked up by the sign up route and then it will be informed to the user that the email was sent. Now the idea here is that or maybe we don't even need to wait for a response from the notification service. We can simply say, okay, as long as the user was saved in a database, I will inform the user, let's say optimistically, that the user will receive the email later on or soon within a few minutes. And if that doesn't happen, the user can then click on resend email or something like this. But this more complex inter interaction we will leave to the future because now we still don't have a microservices operating in our or a, a microservices infrastructure for our <coughs> server so for now everything will be within the authentication um, application right so with this in mind then we can discuss the structure of our email sender, right? Because we already have the sign up route, the clients yet to come, but it's not really part of the implementation at the moment. We need the email sender and we need some email API, which will start with node mailer. 
So how does the email sender look like? Well, I gave a little bit of thought and this is just a draft, right? So um, for sure, this is not binding. It may be the case that we change this during implementation. But I thought it makes sense to have a private is active variable to check whether the email sender is active or not. And the private email engine and we will see why we have this email engine private variable of type email engine in probably the next video. And that's because we want to decouple the implementation of the email sender from the email engine that we are going to use. And the email engine would be in this flow, the email API, right? So it, it could even be better that if I use instead of email engine, I can use email API of type email API and my interface is going to be called email API. Now as public methods to the email sender, I have the activate and the deactivate methods. And I also have the send email method, which is going to receive some arguments, which uh, are going to be of type send email args and I did not specify them here in this in this diagram but then it responds with a send email response right with a promise that returns a send email response if it hit it it uh, resolves correctly we then have the set email engine which should be better said set email api with an api of type email API and then this is going to be retrieved or this is going to be then used to set this email API which is then going to be called from within my send email method and we'll see how this works in the code and I also have a private method to validate the email sender to check that it is both active and that the email API is populated and I added a few other interfaces here for example for the email api it makes sense to have the same method as the email sender has here and we will see how this works in practice and for the send email response we will have a to email and a status that is going to indicate whether this was successful or whether the email sending the email was not successful so now that we have a better understanding of how implementation is going to look like, we will come back in the next video when we'll start working in the code. Until then, thank you very much. Bye-bye.